Welcome, Geminis. I'm back, y'all, with another banging ass video. So, if you are um, new to the channel, welcome. I would love to have you here. Um, consider clicking that bell so you can be part of the notification gang because I promise you, you do not want to miss out on future videos, okay? So, let's talk, guys. Let's talk and see what messages we have for my Geminis. Keep in mind, guys, this is a general read, so it may or may not resonate, okay? It may or may not resonate. However, if it does resonate, that's great. It was for you. Give me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment if you would like to share and subscribe with your family and your friends, okay? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus North Node as well. We got a jumper here, Geminis. We got a jumper. All right, so we stop here, okay? So we got the Ace of Wands here at the bottom. So there's a new start, a new beginning, okay? Some of you just may have moved into a new home or are preparing to move into a new home. Some of y'all did not really want to have to start over. I got the Four of Cups, the Nine of Cups. That seemed like I really didn't want to. The Ace of Cups is new. Like, some of y'all may not, didn't want to start over. <laughs> um, but there's a new start. There's a new beginning here. There's a new beginning here. Let's see what we got. Oh, a peaceful home. Ooh, maybe you hear. I'm getting, like, children are, uh... <laughs> We got the Knight of Swords, and then I'm getting, like, a peaceful home. But then I'm getting, like, there's children um, that are in the home. And, yes, you feel, oh, my gosh, Gemini's. This is so much better energy. I am so proud of the progress that you guys have been making. I promise you, I'm so I'm so, I'm like a proud auntie right now. I'm getting that you guys, you may have felt like somebody was trying to steal your peace, steal your joy. But that's not happening. <laughs> that is not happening. I see you guys being so strong and stepping out on faith even though i feel like some of y'all really didn't want to or it was uncomfortable i feel like some of you guys were uncomfortable with stepping outside of your comfort zone but i feel like some of you did okay why is the seven of swords here it's the only card that i'm looking at like what is this why is the seven of swords here the cherry you could be dealing with the cancer um Are you thinking of what you're going to say to someone in the future? Why is the chariot card here? Yeah, some, you're spying on somebody. Or somebody's spying on you. We got the hermit here. Hermit. Um, Somebody's like, <laughs> it's like you're coming up with some type of lie to say to someone in the near future. Like, you know, trying to get around something. But you're spying on somebody. The next time you see this person or something. But I feel like you you have gotten so much clarity. Um, something just gave you hope and faith uh, in the future. Look at the Hermit and the Two of Wands. Like, I just see that this is someone just searching for answers, looking for answers, receiving those answers. Uh, meditating clarity you could be giving someone some insight I see that as well too 
Like somebody's situation has turned around from bad to good. Okay. Not all hope is lost. But I'm getting like you guys are definitely like in your peaceful. Y'all are peaceful wherever y'all at. Why is the four of wands here? Yes, some of y'all have moved into a new home, a new apartment, a new condo, a new city. Y'all have done something. It's, it's something new. It's some fresh new uh, energy here. Some fresh new energy. Yes. And it's peaceful. It's peaceful. With the temperance card here. You're in a nice neighborhood. So yeah. Um, I'm getting like temperance and the five of swords is now this issue. There's no longer an issue. You found the resolution. You come up with some type of resolution. You, you've. You've got rid of some type of uh, five of swords energy, some type of negative vibe, negative energy in your home. Um, some of you guys are saging a lot, um, meditating. I'm just getting like it's just a real peaceful vibe. And I feel like like you maybe you be on the phone talking to somebody and you're just realizing like it's so peaceful in here. It's peaceful. Or somebody is saying this to you. Knight of Swords makes me feel like children, small children. Uh, why is Knight of Swords here? Yeah, the King of Cups. I'm getting like someone loves children. Or some kids like love to run around. And it's just like really peaceful. Like you set your intentions. Yeah, this, I'm getting like changing the atmosphere. Changing the vibe, changing. I'm just getting like there's a shift. Okay. You have stepped out because we got you here as nine of pentacles for past energy. You are being very independent and you're grown. You've grown so much. Like you're very fruitful here. Like the nine of pentacles is very lovely energy. Very lovely energy. You see all these pentacles in the garden that she has planted her seeds and now she is reaping a harvest. Okay. She is beautiful, like she's happy. There's abundance and fruitfulness. Like it's just, it's, she's in her garden. And it's just lovely, like it's just lovely energy. Yes, see, success. You've accomplished some type of milestone. You did it by yourself, okay? Yeah, and it was, it was rough. It was rough, it was rough. It was financial issues as well. There could have been like domestic violence here with the Seven of Wands dealing with the King of Swords. This person may have been really aggressive towards you. I feel like you guys may have been dealing with a lot, but you're definitely, you came out on top for sure, for sure. Now, we got the Fool here for future energy. So this is a risk being taken, a leap of faith, a new beginning, a new start. Yeah, see, some y'all have moved on. Y'all are just trutting along. I'm just so loving this energy for Gemini. Y'all are just moving along. Y'all have left this energy right here. That petty energy and all of that. You're, you've left that behind. That's that's over and done with, honey. Okay, somebody, uh, karma is being served. Where it needs to be served at, honey. And you have closed this chapter. You're inviting in new. Okay? A lot of y'all are meditating. Like, you're getting ready and prepared for the new year. Okay? I'm getting, with the Knight of Cups, I'm getting, like, just fresh new beginnings, new vibes. Okay? Inviting new energy in. Inviting new energy in. Yep. And the Eight of Cups. Out with the old, in with the new, baby. Okay? Your energy is the judgment. Okay? So you've already made a final decision. This is what it's going to be. Okay? This is how things are going to rock. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. Woo! Okay? Finances is going to be looking real good. Good. All right? Woo! Yes. Okay? Queen of Pentacles. The devil and the ace of wands. Ooh, lots of sexual energy going on here. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting this lots of sex and lots of 
lots of love making here, okay? But be careful, okay? Don't be having broke sex, okay? Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, don't be around here having broke sex, okay? Make sure that you keep your finances in check, all right? Don't go broke trying to, you know, trying to appease and all of that. Don't do that, okay? But I'm getting, um, ooh, the Two of Pentacles jumped out. Two men? Is there two men here? Or two females here? Hey, that's on y'all. I'm just the messenger. <laughs> okay. Six of Cups. Oh, we got the sun. Ooh, and the Queen of Wands. Okay, so how others are viewing you. I'm getting like this could be a child that's looking at you. We got the Six of Cups and the Sun. Both of these are very child energies. Like the Six of Cups, there's children in this card. The Sun, there's just a baby here. Like I'm getting like for some of you, there's a, a daughter. Okay, Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But someone who doesn't have to necessarily be that, that sign. But I'm getting like a beautiful, uh, happy, vibrant energy. I'm getting given hugs and kisses. I'm getting very, I like this energy. I like this energy. And your hopes and fears, we got the strength card. Could be dealing with the Leo. But I'm getting, look at this. You are proud and confident and happy okay like you i feel like you guys are in a good in a good space okay you're happy you have closed a chapter karma whatever whatever you just got out of if it's dealing with somebody or a situation that was just unfair and unjust don't worry about it it's gonna catch up to them okay it is what it is y'all keep progressing and moving forward now we got your outcome at the ten of cups i mean the ten of pentacles and look at that the hermit you could be dealing with the virgo so some of y'all are looking for stability that's all that's on your mind you're looking for the bag you're manifesting you are manifesting some of you are googling on how to manifest how to manifest money into your life how to manifest longevity how to invest how to invest how to make money, make more money for you, okay? Oh, wow. You could be dealing with the Virgo. Yeah, it's like, be careful what you spend. I got the nine of wands. Maybe you're telling someone this, um, you know, like not to overspend. put this out there too guys i'm possibly seeing like there is possibly could possibly be like an ending or a death um in the family i'm seeing that as well too especially when i see the death card and the four of swords that's kind of giving me like uh like there could be like someone who passes away we got the emperor here so there could be someone who's older okay or this is the father energy so it could definitely be like someone older a grandfather or uh someone that's just older okay that could possibly be in your family the ten of pentacles is family um is dealing with family okay i just want to put that out there as well but i feel like you guys have very beautiful energy going into january like the rest of this month it looks like energy is like really 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 good like I'm, I'm digging the energy i'm really really digging this energy for you all like i really want to end it there but i'm going to get you, i'm going to get some angel cards and we'll see what the angels have to say i'm absolutely loving i'm absolutely loving this energy for gemini's i'm absolutely loving this All right, Geminis, what advice are there for my Geminis, please? Going into January, what advice is there for my Geminis? We got yes. 
<laughs> and look at the bottom we got abundance okay so an abundance is coming to you whether it be love money goals like things i just feel like there's just you're being blessed okay we got success i'm telling y'all gemini's it's y'all time give me one more card give me one more card be assertive Okay, be assertive and recovery as well, too. So be assertive. Be on top of your game. It looks like you guys are in your season. Okay, it's your season. It's your season. It's your day. Yes, for sure, for sure, for sure. And as I'm doing it, my, um, <laughs> my diffuser, guys, was green and just turned blue but when i was saying that it was green like i'm so so feeling like you guys are just headed for success okay and and some of y'all are recovering from from a hard time okay that jumped out too and some of you guys y'all are recovering okay y'all are recovering from something that just was traumatic okay I feel like you guys are, are recovering. And there are definitely going to be some big happy changes, okay? So things are shifting. The energy is shifting. I feel like 2021, going into 2021, you guys already have it down pat. Like y'all are out with the old, in with the new, honey. And I think that's what I'm going to call this reading. Because I really feel like y'all are getting rid of that nasty old energy from, from you know all of the things that were going on and happening this year i feel like y'all are ready for some new fresh energy like for sure for sure all right so i hope this reading was helpful okay don't forget to like comment and share with your family and your friends and i will chat with you guys it'll probably be in 2021 all right until next time y'all ciao for now